Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're down here in my craft room in front of a kind of a mood board that I created on top of my craft table and I'm starting a new project. I was inspired by a class that I took from Kitty Witty Paper Craft that shows you how to sew signatures into junk journals and this is always something I wanted to learn how to do so I, I took the class. I dabbled in junk journaling in the past using pre-made binders and that type of thing, but I thought it'd be fun to, to kind of learn something new. And um, I was looking for something different to do, some other creative outlet. I have a ton of scrapbook paper. So after watching the class, I was thinking, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a journal and kind of see what I can use in my craft room. Um, and I kind of came up with a color scheme and a theme. And I wanted to show you today just how I came up with my inspiration. I will put a link to the class in my show notes because she explains everything so well on how to put this junk journal together. And she uses a little golden book to create the, the cover of the journal. And it's just the cutest thing. So it's it's I highly recommend it. But let me go ahead and kind of show you how I came up with my inspiration and I'll show you some of the products I plan on using. I will probably not get the journal done for another two or three weeks, but I thought it would just be fun to kind of show you the, the beginning of it and then um, I can show you the, the final product when it's finished. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me show you first where I kind of started to get some ideas for my inspiration before I pulled all my papers and everything. Um, first of all, let me show you what I was inspired by initially. This is a journal that I had in my collection for a while and I've never used it. It's just a blank journal. It just has lined paper inside and a date at the top where you can, you know, write down, you know, whatever you like to journal about. and. I love the cover and I was inspired by the cover so I wanted to create a junk journal that kind of revolves around these colors and kind of the style of this sort of a cute floral kind of a bright uh, I wouldn't say clean and simple because I don't know if you can call a junk journal clean and simple but it's just kind of a cheerful bright kind of that type of look for the journal so since it's kind of a thin book. I didn't want to attempt to do the signatures and create a spine with this type of journal because I didn't want to mess it up. So I'm going to wait to do that. And so instead, I'm going to do a three ring version of this one. And I haven't yet removed it from the spine. So I'm hoping that I do okay when I remove it. But um, so this is where I'm starting. So from here, I wanted to kind of come up with some other types of inspiration. So I started a Pinterest board, which I love to do, that kind of revolves around the types of things that I was imagining that would be in the junk journal. So if you can see a little bit here, I just have some color combinations. Um, I, I love these vintage florals here. So I'm kind of using that as a jumping off point. Um, polka dots, um, greens, pinks, mint colored plaid. I just kind of have, I, this was really helpful because I kind of just went through and just pinned anything I could think of. I was trying to kind of get a feel for what the junk journal would look like. And this really, if you really look at it, it, it really gives great inspiration. I've got the gingham washi tape, um, oil cloth fabric, all of these types of things. So, um, this was a great jumping off point. Um, next, I just kind of pulled all the types of scrapbook papers I had. I had this ephemera pack that I haven't used yet. This is from Paige Evans, Pink Paisley, Bloom Street. And I thought these stickers were so pretty. And I have the ephemera pack too that kind of coordinates with this. So I thought those would be nice. Um, and then I have all these different papers. And they're from all different companies. Um, I've got some crepe paper. I did some some ledger paper, some grid paper. I, I want to add a lot of texture too, so I have this kind of wood grain look that I thought would be nice. Strawberries and white flowers. That's what I was imagining that would go with the gingham too. Daisies, um, some kind of a scripty 
scripty uh, scrapbook paper, favorite paper. This is from Felicity Jane from their Lola collection. And I bought a couple of packs of these a while ago because I just love these flowers. So, and everything in the collection is really pretty. So I definitely wanted to use those. I have the small version and then I have the big version too. And then I have just some gingham papers, some tiny, tiny patterns. So like little, little hearts, um, some smaller floral patterns. And I'm not gonna use all of this, but I just kind of wanted to pull everything. And I figured, you know, I'll see kind of how it comes together. So I've got some plaids. I have some more kind of like a grid pattern look. And I'm just kind of staying in that same color pal palette that I had showed you on my inspiration board. And then I have, then I wanted to get some texture. So I have this acetate paper. This was Dear Lizzie. This was from a long time ago. I've never used this, but it's kind of cool. It's like a, just a clear plasticky type paper. But I thought that would be fun to use. Um, this is from another uh, Felicity Jane set um, from a really long time ago. But I thought those strawberries were cute and the little tags. And then I just grabbed some. These are papers that have journaling cards on them that you can cut apart. And I thought those would be fun to kind of stick on the rings in between dividers or put into pockets or something like that. So again, I just kind of pulled everything that had the same color palette as my inspiration board. This is cute. This is a paper pack I got a while ago at Hobby Lobby Ice Cream Parlor. So it's got tons of gingham and polka dots and stripes. So I might be able to use that for something. And this is kind of a grouping of more textural paper. And these are paper pads that are really old. These are from Cosmo Cricut. I don't know if anybody remembers that company, but they had some really cute, they always had a lot of retro style papers. But then they also had um, this really fun paper pad. This one has different textures in it. So it's got some vellum, printed vellum. And then um, I think it had some normal paper. Actually, no, this is all vellum. But different prints on all this vellum that I thought would look really nice. I like this one. This has got kind of a retro look. And I was actually at Tuesday morning a really long time ago, and they had these on sale there. So I picked up a couple of the, the paper pads, and I'm glad I did because these are really cute. This one is also, this is a tissue paper pad, which is kind of interesting. And this gives some texture too. I was thinking I could use, I like this, this mint green color. I thought that would be kind of fun to use. I'm not sure yet how it will hold up, but we'll see. I might be able to find a way to to make it work. And then this one is called Simple Surfaces. And this has, this is a combination of regular cardstock with some kind of embossed prints on it. And then I think it's got, in the back here, it's got some vellum. Again, some of like the vellum printed stuff. And I think all it is is vellum, no tissue. But I thought this would be nice for to just to add texture because I wanted to have a mix of just regular paper and then stuff that has, you know, maybe an embossed feel to it, the vellum um, fabric too. I picked up these squares from Hobby Lobby. I like the, the print on it and the, the flowers I thought would kind of go. So I, I, I'm going to... I'm not sure how I'm going to use it, but I think I can maybe find a way to either make a pocket or do something, maybe cover cover a page with the fabric. So we'll, we'll see how that ends up, but definitely wanted to keep that. And then I grabbed some washi tape that kind of went with my color palette too. So just some ginghams, blue polka dots. This is fabric washi, which that's nice for another texture. And then I have these from, these were from American Crafts. They're like little tape runner, uh, not really washy, but they have like a little pattern on them. And you run it like a tape runner and gives you like a cute little floral pattern. And then this one has, this one has hearts, but it's mint green and pink. So that goes with the color palette. So that's everything up here. 
So, and I, I think I talked about this, or I showed this in an Instagram post. This is a table that I recently got from Amazon, which it's not available anymore, and I would have linked it. But I used to have a card table. This, this is kind of my craft area right here. This is my main place where I craft. And then I had a card table here where we would do different craft projects. It was just some place to, to set up um, other crafting things. And I replaced that with this table. And this is actually a dining table that's for small spaces, but it had this really nice shelf here. And it's just a square, but um, I like it because I can set up all of my scrapbooking stuff and lay it out. So I thought that would that was really, um, it was a, it was a great find. So let me go ahead and show you some of my ephemera. I have a lot of it and I, I probably have way too much for what I'm going to be using it for, but I just pulled everything and maybe I can get a couple of books out of this. We'll see. But I just pulled different, I have different areas around my craft room, which is nice. So I have everything organized by stickers, um, journaling cards, paper, uh, chipboard, die cuts. So all I did was go to each little station around my craft room and, and go through everything and kind of pull stuff that would go with uh, what I was wanting to make. So these are just some, some kind of sentiment strips. Be nice for pages. Some ribbon. I also went into my, I have a drawer of blank note cards that have different shapes and things. So I found these little scalloped cards I thought might be nice. I could cut one apart and use it for a, a journaling spot on one of the rings. Um, I have this card too. It just has um, just some more scallops on it. Um, this I found in my ribbon drawer. It's just a piece of uh, material that is. It's like what you'd make for a bridal veil. But I don't know. It might be something. So I just pulled it out. And then, let's see. I'm making a huge mess here. Um, this little, this is like a little pocket stitched pocket, which I like because I cannot sew, and it is already stitched for me, so I thought that would be perfect on a page. And then I pulled some ephemera packs, too. Um, this is that Lola uh, ephemera and paper line I was talking about from Felicity Jane. I bought some of the ephemera packs, too, and they have some of the flowers in it, so those are cute. And then this is the ephemera from that Bloom Street uh, sticker pack that I was showing you earlier. And then just more ephemera. I have some tags here too. So I'm sure I'm going to be able to use some of this stuff. And I love this ribbon. It's so pretty. I don't know. A lot of times when I, if I get a package or I get a gift from somebody and it has a really nice ribbon on it or packaging that if you, you get something in the mail and it's got really nice packaging, a lot of times from scrapbook stores and, um, stamp places, they'll package things really nicely. And I always save the, the ribbon because you can always use it and it's always so pretty. So it's a great way to reuse things. Let's see, this, these are little bags that I found. I keep a drawer of bags. <laughs> so I have like, this stuff you can get at Hobby Lobby, like little tiny, tiny paper bags. Um, this is an old tag set that I had from Martha Stewart Crafts, but the the designs are perfect for the journal that I want to make. So I have those. This is another kind of random bag that I pulled. Um, some doilies. Uh, These are envelope corners. I don't know. I thought that might be kind of fun. I could do make some decorative corners for one of my pages. Vellum envelopes, again, from Cosmo Cricut. I got these a really long time ago, but they have little embossed sayings on them. And then these are just some note cards from Lawn Fawn, but I like the polka dot pattern, so I thought, you know, I could tuck one in there. And then this set of note cards I've had for a really long time. I love it because it's got kind of the old timey vintage look to it, but it has flowers and things on it, so I thought that would kind of go with the floral theme that I'm kind of going for in the, in the journal. So I may use those for something. And then, oh, let me show you this last basket here. 
actually I have more baskets. <laughs> um, this getting to be a long video and I'm definitely not going to use all of this, but I like to have options. This is from my ephemera drawer. I have, this is more floral ephemera, so I put that over there. Um, this is just different, different textures. I have a bow that's canvas, some buttons, some little clips. I thought it would be nice. This is from, these are from Freckled Fawn. Uh, some acetate these look like frames so I'm not sure if I can use those but I might be able to and then cute little charms I thought this would be something fun to put on the the rings or make a little decorative tassel on the outside this maybe in combination with this um, these are from Maggie Holmes so just more texture canvas buttons I've had these forever these are from Basic Gray, which I, I keep all of my old Basic Gray stuff because they had a lot of nice vintage themed uh, ephemera. And these are wooden wooden pieces of fruit. So like kind of fruit stand signs. So I don't know if I can use that or not. They're a little, they're not as bright as I would want for this particular journal, but we'll see. Maybe something would work out. And then just some hard stickers, some more buttons. Um, and then some of these flare buttons too that I thought might be nice. Um, I found this wood veneer today. I thought maybe that would be nice to tuck in a pocket or maybe glue to a page and somebody could do some journaling. I found this random, I have a basket of random stuff in my ephemera drawer and this is just acetate heart grouping, but I thought that was cute. So I could use it for like a little tag or something. And then some of these, I love these white, um, these white pieces. They're like plastic ephemera. I'm going to have a bunch of these in hearts. I also have words too that I, I always like the way those look. And then I just have some more buttons that I, that I pulled out. These are flat backed fabric buttons that have cute patterns. So I don't know if I'd be able to use them, but I definitely... Um, I'm going to keep that as an option. And then one more basket. <laughs> oh, and then I have some of this thread. This is thread that um, I just had in my ribbon drawer. But the color combination is perfect for what I need. So I'm just having this. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I thought maybe I could attach a charm to it, do something like that with those. And then the last little basket I have is just of more kind of ephemera. I found these tags at Hobby Lobby and they have like a wood grain finish to them. And they actually, they're new. They just, they were just on one of the end caps. Um, but I like the, the wood grain. So I don't know, it might be something to put in between the pages or on the outside or something. I don't know if they're too big, but, but they might work. I also just found these too, which I thought these little daisies were cute with the little jewels. So I picked those up. And then just more ephemera. This is super old Maggie Holmes ephemera. I always keep this because of all the nice flowers that they have. And then I had this kind of random flower border. I don't know where I got it from, but it's got, got um, it's kind of fuzzy on the outside, but it's a sticker. So you can take off the backing and it works as a border. So I thought that might be fun for a, for a page or maybe even the cover, I don't know. Um, and then these bags, I don't know, maybe to put a ephemera in or something. And then I had some more. This is from my sticker drawer. I just found random stickers. I keep all of these around. Um, but just different textures. So felt. These are rope flowers, which I got a really long time ago from Michael's in clearance. Just some old border stickers and some more Felicity Jane stuff and, and just some more some kind of Maggie Holmes themed stuff stickers that type of thing a little bit of chipboard and wooden pieces again I don't know if I'm going to use them or not but the color the colors matched what I was looking for and then it's also got the texture so so I don't know we'll see so that's it for um 
everything that I want to put in my journal and my desk is a mess now so I'll have to clean it up the one more thing that I found I I like to collect vintage cookbooks and I do have a few vintage uh, other types of books and I had this I don't I'm not sure where I got it from but this is a gardening book and it's a golden book of gardening and I'm not sure if I will use it or not it's got some really nice pages in it but it's in pretty good condition and I don't know if I want to take any pages out of it I don't know but we'll see but I thought some of the words would be kind of nice um, just how a plant grows and um, just have something like that because it's I'm trying to have like a floral theme in the journal I thought it would be kind of fun to have have a paragraph about plants or how something grows or something like that but then there's some nice pictures too and I like these um, illustrations of all the different colorful flowers so I don't know I don't know if I could bring myself to, <laughs> to take it apart but but we'll see and then um, this is just another journal that I had um, it's not vintage or anything but the cover is kind of a vintage style which I may use this cover to make a journal sometime but it just has uh, paper inside of it blank paper but I like the other side of the paper it's got kind of a yellow rose rose clusters on the back but the paper's a little bit aged looking and I don't know if I want to put that in the journal because I'm kind of looking for more brighter colors but I thought these were cute the little the little icons in the bottom corners I thought those were cute so maybe for another type of journal so anyway so that's my my journal inspiration and like I said it's going to be a few weeks before I get this thing put together but I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to try something new and different um, like I said I've kind of dabbled in the past with with journals especially at Christmas time I, I've made some kind of ephemera junk journal type things so I thought um, it would be fun to, to kind of try something new and um, see, see what I can make. So thanks so much for joining me today. And I'll have links to the, the class I talked about too, Kit from Kitty Witty Papercraft, because it was really such a nice class. And her, her, her uh, journals that she makes are just delightful. So um, definitely you want to take a look at that. So thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video.